हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेक हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीनिंग करेक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शन एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक सो वाट इज स्टेटिस्टिक स्टेटिस्टिक इज अ साइंस ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रेजेंटेशन एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डेटा स्टेटिस्टिक इज अ साइंस ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रेजेंटेशन एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डेटा न्यूमेरिकल डेटा मीन्स इन्फॉर्मेशन इन फॉर्म ऑफ नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट समवन हाइट वेट एंड एज एंड हेयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मीन्स अरेंज यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन इन प्रॉपर वे सो दैट वी कैन ईजिली अंडरस्टैंड इट हेयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मीन्स अरेंज यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन इन प्रॉपर वे सो दैट वी कैन ईजिली अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स अरेंज यूर डेटा बाय यूजिंग टेबल चार्ट एंड ग्राफ एंड एनालिसिस मीन्स केयरफुल एग्जामिंग यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दैट यू कैन हाईलाइट की इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन मीन्स कम टू कंक्लूजन so we can say the statistic is a science of collection organization presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data now we are going to talk about characteristics of statistic first characteristic of statistic is statistic is affected by multiplicity of cause means statistic figures are affected by so many cause we cannot say that statistic figure are affected by only one cause here we have figure of rising price in which prices of food items are continue rising it can be so many cause of rising price uh, for example rise in demand reduction in supply increase in cost or rise in wage uh, second uh, characteristic of statistic is predetermined purpose whenever you collect data you must decide your purpose in advance means you must have clearly defined purpose without defining purpose there is no use of collecting data for example my purpose of collecting data to find out customer need so that according to that i can modify my product and i will only collect data that is related to my purpose that's why for statistic we must have clearly defined purpose next characteristic of statistic is statistic is aggregate of facts single figures are not part of statistic because we cannot compare single figure or we can say that in statistic we do not include information about only one person in statistic we include information about group because in group we can easily compare one person with other person or for example single age of 30 year is not statistic on the other hand group of age like 55 to 60 year 60 to 65 65 to 70 years are part of statistic next characteristic is statistic are collected in systematical manner means you should collect your data according to particular plan and order if your data are haphazard means without any plan and order then there will be no use of your data next characteristic is statistic is numerically expressed means we should give statistic information with number uh, for example if i say isha is taller than meghan anu this is not statistic on the other hand if i say anu height is 154 cm megha height is 120 cm anu height is 65 cm this is called statistic now we are going to talk of functions of statistic first function of statistic is simplify complex fact as we know it is very difficult for us to understand huge numerical data and statistic present complex data in very simple form for example if i write marks of student in such form nobody will understand but if i write marks of student in this form uh, 20 student got marks between 0 to 10 24 student got marks between 10 to 20 40 student got marks between 20 to 30 and 36 student got marks between 30 to 40 then we can clearly understand this is called statistic second function is compare fact with statistic we can easily compare one information with other information for example if i say literacy rate high in kerala and low in andhra pradesh then we cannot uh, compare how much a literacy rate high in kerala as compared to andhra pradesh on the other hand if i say literacy rate in kerala is 96.2 and literacy rate in andhra pradesh is 64 uh, 66.4 then we can easily compare how much literacy rate high in kerala as compared to andhra pradesh this is called statistic third function is facilitate planning and policy formation as we know statistic figures give us so much information about past and current scenario with this information business and administration can plan their future activities and shape their policy for example company want to launch new product and statistic figure give us information about consumer preferences need and prices Next function is to help forecasting. Statistic is very helpful for making future prediction. Means with the help of statistic figures, we can easily estimate our future. In this figure, you can see from 2018 to 2022, our demand is continuous increasing. Based on this information, a businessman can easily estimate in 2023 demand will also increase.
नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज प्रेजेंट फैक्ट इनटू डेफिनेट फॉर्म स्टैटिस्टिक गिव अस इंफॉर्मेशन इन प्रेसाइज एंड डेफिनेट फॉर्म फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से 1998 व्हीट प्रोडक्शन वाज हायर देन 1997 दिस इंफॉर्मेशन नोट इन डेफिनेट एंड प्रेसाइज फॉर्म ओन द अदर हैंड इफ आई से इन 1998 व्हीट प्रोडक्शन वाज 69 मिलियन टन्स व्हिच इज 9.5% इज हायर देन 1997 दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज मोर प्रेसाइज डेफिनेट एंड कन्विंसिंग एंड दिस इज अवर स्टैटिस्टिक information now we are going to talk about limitation of statistic first limitation is do not study about qualitative phenomenal statistic do not give us qualitative information for example statistic do not give information about honesty intelligence and justice no doubt statistic tell us marks of student but statistic do not tell us how intelligent and honest student are second uh, limitation is do not deal individual so statistic do not tell us uh, about one individual statistic only tell us about group next limit is only expert make best possible use uh, methods of statistics are very complex and complicated only expert person can use this next limitation is result are truly based on average in statistic result are based on average but it is not necessary average always true uh, for example uh, average salary of a teacher is 50000 per month it is not necessary every teacher earning 50000 per month it can be more than 50000 it can be less than 50000 but in statistics we consider it true this is all about meaning characteristic function and limitation of statistic i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care